Uh, Abby, you spoke with Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton. She's been pushing this bill or something like it for decades, but we're not really seeing any movement. Will we see anything differently this time? Yeah, well, only time will tell, but she conceded this is a difficult time to pass a bill like this. After all, Democrats just lost their majority in the House and they're well short of the 60 votes needed over in the Senate. So I asked her about these slim chances and whether she truly believes this bill has any chance. Why push statehood right now, you know, when you don't have the House and you likely don't have the 60 votes in the Senate? What, why continue to push for it, though? The only way to get a difficult bill passed is to make headway each year. For example, by introducing the bill in the Senate, we're going to, I predict, get more Senate co-sponsors. When you have a difficult bill, you can't just relax until you get the full 60 votes. You keep building your support. The bill is set to be introduced at a press conference this morning by Senator Tom Carper of Delaware. And as always, the filibuster remains the biggest obstacle. That 60 vote threshold means that Democrats would need to get nine Republicans on board. Nationally, uh, the polls show that 42% of Republicans support statehood. So I'm gonna keep pointing that out to Republicans in the Senate step by step. That's the way we'll get it. So that press conference is going to be at 1030 this morning, and that kicks off the process on the Senate side. Meanwhile, over in the House, Norton has already introduced the statehood bill, where again, the prospects are slim with a Republican majority. Reporting here at the Capitol, I'm Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9. Larry.